And now to an Eyewitness News exclusive, actress Felicity Huffman talking about her arrest and incarceration in the Varsity Blues college admission scandal. I spoke at length with Huffman, her first and only interview. She opened up about why she did it and how the punishment she received led her to another woman who had served time, Susan Burton, who now runs an organization that's changing lives. It felt like I had to give my daughter a chance at a future. Um, and so it was sort of like my daughter's future, which meant I had to break the law. In December of 2017, actress Felicity Huffman drove her daughter to take the SAT test. Her daughter not knowing that Huffman had paid $15,000 for someone to falsify the results. She was going, can we get ice cream afterwards? Scared about the test, what, what can we do that's fun? And I kept thinking, turn around, just turn around. And to my uh, undying shame, I didn't. Felicity Huffman, star of Desperate Housewives, an Oscar nominee, one of 33 wealthy parents to face federal charges in Operation Varsity Blues, accused of conspiring to use bribery and fraud to get their kids into top colleges. The middleman, a self-styled college counselor named Rick Singer. After a year, he started to say, your daughter's not going to get into any of the colleges that she wants to. And um, I believed him. And so when he slowly started to present the criminal scheme, it seemed like, and I know this seems crazy at the time, that that was my only option to give my daughter a future. And I know hindsight is 2020, but it felt like I would be a bad mother if I didn't do it. So I did it. Months later, the FBI was at her door. They came into my home. Um, they woke my daughters up at gunpoint. Again, nothing new to the black and brown community. Um, then they put my hands behind my back and um, handcuffed me and I asked if I could get dressed. And I thought it was a hoax. I literally turned to the, one of the FBI people in a flak jacket and a gun and I went, is this a, is this a joke? It was not. Huffman pled guilty, served 11 days in prison, paid a $30,000 fine, did community service, and apologized. I think the people I owe a debt and an apology to is the academic community and to the students and the families that sacrifice and work really hard to get to where they're going legitimately. She's made no further public statements until now. Why now? I want to use my experience and what I've gone through um, and the pain uh, to bring something good, which is to shine a light on Susan Burton's organization called A New Way of Life. A New Way of Life is a nonprofit that helps formerly incarcerated women get back on their feet by providing housing, clothing, job training, and above all, safety. Here is where Felicity Huffman did her court-ordered community service. I said, you know, I'm here to apply to work, but I understand if you don't want me. And Susan looked at me and went, yeah, I want you. Well, I thought we would bring her in and, you know, put her at a desk and have her work, you know, in the office. And she said, no, I want to do real work. And she, like, just organized all of our closets and donations. Um, she went jogging down Central Avenue in South L.A., and created exercise classes for the women. And when her 250 hours of community service was up, Huffman stayed on and joined the organization's board of directors. When I saw what a new way of life was doing, which is they heal one woman at a time, and if you heal one woman, you heal her children, and you heal her grandchildren, and you heal the community. Felicity Huffman is one of the most beautiful people I've met in my lifetime. And I know that she's had a hiccup, but it's not the hiccup, it's how you come through the hiccup. Huffman told me her daughter was turned down by every college she applied to during the scandal. 
She retook the SAT and earned her way into Carnegie Mellon University, where she's in the drama program. This weekend, Huffman is hosting the 25th anniversary gala for A New Way of Life. You can learn more about that organization and donate at anewwayoflife.org. We have a link on our website, abc7.com. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.